Wamlambes. Wamnyonyes. Wamlambes. Wamnyonyes. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to our YouTube space. My name is Imani and I make random YouTube videos about sharing my experiences from living in Kenya to living in Australia. And today I've got a special guest. Uh, the real you know OG. It, if you know it, you know it. If you know, you know. Yeah. <laughs> this is my uh, my friend. Um, yeah, so we it's a friend and my friend that we grew up together. But yeah, so let's get right into it. So the first thing that we couldn't afford back home or we didn't have is appliances like a dishwasher. I never knew what a dishwasher was. I was never taught what a dishwasher was from when I was born to high school to anywhere where I lived at home. We never knew what a dishwasher was. And I don't even think there's a Swahili word for a dishwasher. I don't. Yeah, because it didn't exist. And even if it did, not everyone could afford it. Right? To, to. Like a washing machine. A washing machine, we can buy it in Africa. We don't know where, we know where, what it is. Mm -hmm. But not everyone can afford it. Did you, did you ever see a dishwasher? Uh, a washing machine? A washing machine? No. I don't think so because I didn't, if, I, if you don't have the money, why would I be looking for something that I cannot afford? To yeah. Make? But now we're so lazy. We put everything in a dish, in a washing machine and we put everything. No, not everything. <laughs> We don't put She's the one who is lazy. Jesus is Lord! Okay, well, we don't use a dishwasher because my mom taught me how to use hands, how to wash, dish, to wash dishes with hands. She doesn't believe in dishwashers. Yeah? But she believes in washing machines, I guess. But yeah, it oh, actually... No. Yeah, so we couldn't afford such things back home and even things like an AC or a heater here We did we definitely need it because Australia is of extreme temperatures. So it's either too hot or too warm Yeah, so we need to have a heater or an AC um, But even an AC a lot of people don't even know what an AC is an AC is um, a cooler something that keeps you cool, cool yeah. like in the car I never, we never used an AC in the car when I was back in Kenya, but now we use it here. I think we used it in Kenya for cooling, when it's mostly cooling. Cold, no much, because the temperatures there are always alright. Yeah. So during uh, hot season, that's when we mostly use No, it. but I remember when we were young, when it gets hot in the car, you were told to put your windows down. That's basically what we did, but don't, we don't do it here, right? But yeah, another thing that we couldn't afford living back home is things like KFC, McDonald's, pizza. Those things are privileges, especially for children, right? Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. So tell us a little bit more about pizzas. And oh, she grew up. She actually have a different upbringing. So she grew up in the village. And How can I, I tell you so about something that uh, was not my lifestyle? Yeah. Not something I grew up with, and probably maybe when you look at. Uh, Finances is got like this luxury, yeah, and you are living on the best you can afford. Yeah, true. So yeah, so those things are only for special days, like Sundays after church. But now we go to the drive-through. We don't even cook anymore. Ha! Huh. I yes. because I cannot eat the food here. It's yeah. a little bit. The taste. It's not that I can't eat. I can eat, but the taste is a little bit different. Yeah, and I am. I think when you migrate to another country when you are older. You stick to so many things, it's a little bit hard to be flexible. Another thing is a gym. Here, gym membership is almost, like, at least, I think 8 out of 10 Australians have a gym membership. And um, gym is very necessary because we don't walk around here. We drive a lot, right? Yeah, I can't comment on that one because I'm not a gym person. I don't believe in the You gym. go to the gym. Why are you lying? No, I don't. She do I do I look like I go to the gym? I'm hey, no way. But What's yeah, the point we, of a gym when you can walk? Anyway, here we drive a lot yeah. and uh, we stick so much in the car and we walk in, indoors. Everyone walks indoors yeah. most of the time. But but even in yeah, Kenya, but, for the yeah. people, we are a walking nation, yes, but gym is not affordable to everyone. So you find that people improvise, like where we used to live. Um, I grew up in Iceland, so I used to see a lot of people improvising. They take a tin, they put cement in it, and then they attach a metal rod, and that's basically gym. Homemade gym. Homemade gym, yeah. So we have a lot of homemade gym because we can't afford gym memberships. Laptops. 
No, yeah. yeah. that is yeah. one thing that I anyway for me I used to there was a small kind of a computer that I used to buy and then it could crash and go with everything every time yeah. and it was so expensive for me to get I remember I used to like photography yeah I lose everything with a computer <laughs> but today I, I thank God that I can afford yeah I uh, I can afford, afford to buy even an iPad a laptop yeah and it's a requirement anyway it's a necessity here so, yeah. yeah yeah so back home not everyone can afford a laptop so we find that even unfortunately even in universities a lot of people just take notes like even me here it's so hard for me to still use a laptop because i'm not used to using it back home because i couldn't afford it but now i have to use it so yeah so i'm really grateful that i can afford a laptop movies movies going to the movies yeah yeah, going to the movies as a uh, yeah, I think uh, the movies in Kenya is I don't know Kenya of today. Uh we left Kenya 6 years ago. Yeah. Probably things have changed especially around in the city. Mm. Uh but I remember when I was in Nairobi, uh the movies were not all that there was not so much um talked about or people attend to watch pirated movies the cds that yeah, you can yeah. buy in the streets yeah. they, used, they were very nice oh so they nice. were affordable and very so nice, nice. like we as travel as, back home now we just take a usb and as lo- we, yeah as long as you have a dvd player you yeah. can play it yeah so we couldn't really afford to go to the movies it was a very it was a luxury but uh, another thing is oven an oven an oven of course you should not buy an oven because it doesn't come with the house <laughs> During that time when we were living, I know it was very expensive. Yeah. If there were houses like that, it was very expensive. The rent was too high, so we can't get, couldn't get access to such facilities. Yeah. So oven, uh, even baking. Who even who knew about baking? <laughs> Never knew how to bake. I, a cake. I used to buy cakes from the supermarkets, and that is a luxury. <laughs> and yeah. I remember my best cake was Tuskies. Yeah, cakes Black Forest. Tuskies. Black Forest. I still yeah. use it up to now. Yeah, and cakes were only for birthdays. Yeah. There's no desserts. We couldn't afford desserts. Cakes yeah. were only for birthdays. Birthday. Yeah. So anyway, that's all we had for today. Um, I hope we've expanded a little bit on how our life was different back there and the things we can afford now um but yeah this is basically a gratitude post and just saying that we really uh, do appreciate. I think for me, um, as Living. Ken says, it's a gratitude. To me, yeah. I am doing this as a testimony to the far God has brought us. Yeah, back there that's what I'm Africa, saying. Gratitude. And I'm yeah, telling you that um, it is. I think uh, I don't know what to say, but I thank God for it. And I, everybody has an opportunity. It doesn't have to happen that you have to come to Australia or go to a Western country. Yeah. If anything, you can make these things in Kenya. Absolutely. And believe in yourself, believe in God. Everyone has a different out. race and yeah, the way, race we are, that we are running. And no one has blocked another person's yeah. blessings. It yeah. can come in different, different ways. So I believe and pray that everyone would one day experience what we are experiencing at the moment. Thank yeah. you. And life is not that glamorous as you see in pictures or whatever around here. But yeah, so that's all we had for today. Feel free to subscribe to my channel, like, comment, and um, let us know if there's anything that you'd like us to know to or, about. or anything you want me to talk about, um, about living in Australia. Okay? Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye.